spotlight time we've got some absolutely fantastic affordable throw over saddlebags let's do this already fitted so you can see what they look like obviously of the shredder there we go these are amazing quick look these are like a pre-waxed tough canvas they don't crush they are easily to get in you can adjust them with the strap so inside you've got pockets there's one another one another one these are good enough you can get your phone in there look awesome you've got a zip up there so you could put like documents passports and things in there if you wanted it's identical both sides now these beauties don't sag and that is because inside is velcro a hard insert So that hard insert stops it from obviously collapsing like a lot of saddlebags. Now then on the outside you've got a little pocket. Brilliant. And then on the opposite side, I sometimes put my water bottle in there. Now it all depends on what kind of look you're going for because on the end of each corner is a buckle and they send you the straps so you can actually attach it to let's say your frame there look I've left that quite loose because I like it to look quite rugged and again on this side look use that buckle use one of the supplied straps attach it to the frame I leave it semi loose now I've had this up to 70 mile an hour officer <laughs> yeah okay, okay, keep going keep going um, and they don't move They're still there brilliant now when I say throw over, they literally are thrown over. But then I'll put my seat on the top. But you can put them over top of the seat. Pull my seat off. And there we go. Now as mentioned, I have these slightly loose, just for the feel and the look. But you can tighten them up. As you can see, they are adjustable. It's that easy. So I've taken the bags off. Not at all marked that fender any more than it's already marked because this is a 20 plus year old bike. They aren't marked. Not marked with suspension, so there's no rails on there whatsoever. Literally just thrown over and held up, like I say. Put it onto the uh, the frame there. Now I've done a couple of hundred mile road trip on the old shredder with these bags on to test them. And there's a little bit of rub on the back, but that is not wearing through. That is good quality stuff. The other good thing about these that I like is they are made with vintage materials so they are going to wear and look authentically vintage. If that makes any sense. Very cleverly I've got buckles here and here and on this side there's some straps so if you actually wanted an extra bit of security say you're loading them up strap it up just like that let's see. Another good feature about throwovers is you don't have to relocate the indicators, just throw them over. <laughs> just an excuse to change my seat. <laughs> yes. Right, let's have a look, see what we're getting in these bags. <laughs> Thermals, baby. Tool bag. Fire pump. Spare gloves. Night goggles. Phone, power bank. Beauty because I want to be cool. I don't think I want to be cool today. So you can see that one's empty. Look at the shape. That one's full. Kept its shape. Lovely. It's brilliant. I'm liking it. And I can still get some more stuff in there. I can still get a bit in there. So they send you with different 
straps, different lengths, obviously for the side bits to strap them through. And for the eagle-eyed of you, we've seen these on the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can actually take these off and they send you these straps. So if you wanted, you could actually carry one as a single unit, which if you I don't know, living in the city, you put them on your bike, you can rip them off and off you go. Well, that didn't leak through. Look at that, it's just sitting on it. Brilliant. Now that pocket will be dry. These should be. Lovely and dry. The only thing that does get wet, it's just in there. Look. There we go, it's all out. Fantastic, love them, absolutely love them.